Well, good day there. This is Joe Van Cleve, and I am an office supply junkie. And look where I'm at. I'm at Hoffmantown Shopping Center in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And you know what it's at Hoffmantown Shopping Center? Pen and pad stationery. We're going to go inside and take a look. I have been coming to pen and pad stationery in Hoffmantown Shopping Center since I was a kid in high school. I've been buying pens and pads and everything there. This is one of the best places, maybe the only place in Albuquerque to get really nice fountain pens and all kinds of other writing instruments. So let's go in and take a look around. Well, here we are at Pen and Pad Stationery. I'm going to go take a look around and see what we get. So let's take a look at some of the inventory that they have here. This is their Acme display. They have some really cool pens here. Here's their selection of pilot writing instruments. That is a really nice looking one right there. And fountain pens, ballpoint pens, all kinds of different ones. That's really cool, the Axiom line. And this is their Visconti line, including this beautiful fountain pen. And they have a whole lineup of Visconti instruments here. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And Pelicans. They have a whole lineup of Pelican fountain pens. That is neat. And, of course, the cross display. You wouldn't have a pen shop without the cross display. They have some kind of a Marvel superhero collection and certainly some finer ones here. And the Star Wars edition. And of course the Waterman collection. This looks like a carbon fiber pen right there. Look at that. Isn't that great? Look at those things. Beautiful Waterman fountain pens. Look at the whole selection of Watermans there. And Parkers, the whole line of Parkers. And Montverde limited edition rose gold. And here's a whole other lineup of cross pins right here. Now this pin right here is special because I got one of these, bought myself a Christmas present. This is Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta pin. Nice. And uh, isn't that cool? Limited edition. Look at these things. Wonderful pins. Retro 51. I like this whole lineup of Retro 51 pins. How cool is that? I like this Montverde tool pin. This is a, I think it's a mechanical pencil. Figure out how it works here. Do it one handed, but with a measuring scale. It's made of metal. It has a carpenter's level built into it. That is so cool. And they come in various colors, although I think the yellow one is, is the coolest because it looks like a tape measure. Now these are pretty neat. These are little stylus pins, Saint Tropez Petite stylus pins, and a really good price. So they're a little, a little pin that has a phone stylus, a tablet stylus on, on the tip and a pin on the other side and they're nice and short. How cool is that? 
And here is the entire Schaefer lineup that they have here. Here is a three level Schaefer display. This is cool. Even as the calligraphy pen sets for doing calligraphy. So this is their sample collection of sample books that you can bring your own pen in and try it out on different types of notebooks that they sell. The field notes here and uh, the Shinola notebooks even. Wow, Shinola notebooks. Let's see what's this one. Also Shinola probably. Rodia. Rodia. Different types of Rodia books. Very cool. Document safe pens. Here is their Lamy collection of fountain pens. Isn't that cool? Look at the spectrum of colors. And of course, a stationery store wouldn't be complete without good stationery. Look at this, the whole Rodia collection. Oh man. So many notepads of different styles. Look at this, the whole Rodia collection. Ah. Look at this, those are cool. Hardback flip up with an elastic band. They have both the orange and the black uh, bindings. All kinds of different styles. Look at this. The flip up style. The grid paper. Oh yeah. Look at that. Very cool. And we get into... Claire Fontaine. A whole line of Claire Fontaine notebooks. Which is a whole nother world of notebooks unto itself. There's a water shedding Claire Fontaine. Sort of competing with Right in the Rain notebooks there. All kinds of binders, spiral notebooks, a whole assortment there. And then Lalo's, a whole nother selection of French stationery and envelopes and letter writing paper and note cards. Now I think this is cool, this dot grid paper pads. This is for digitizing sketching. They have a smaller size and they have a larger size dot grid notebook. You can digitize the images with a software on your phone. And how about the classic Mead letter writing tablet? Ooh. Hey, Rodea has a whole dot grid large size pad. Look at that. And of course, if you're going to be writing letters, you're going to need to do wax sealing of your envelopes. And wax sealing is a fun thing to do. And here's a whole set of stamps and sealing wax and uh, accessories for doing that. I think this is so cool. I have one for myself that I don't use nearly as often enough. And the Field Notes book. You have the steno pad and some of the smaller um, hip pocket books, the Snowblind edition. Field Notes are so cool and it's nice being able to see these available locally. Here's Forest Choice writing pads, environmentally friendly notebooks. Comes in a three pack. California Republic stationers. Now this uh, typewriter themed greeting card, I think I'm gonna have to get it for someone special. Fountain pen inks. If you need any fountain pen ink in Albuquerque, this is where you come. This is where I buy my Parker Quink, my favorite blue black. But there's so many different kinds of inks to try out. So much ink and so little time. So my composition book story, they have an Acme composition book, it looks like, but when you open it up, it is a pen pencil mechanical a pencil, ball. eraser, and lead set. How cool is that? And a rollerball. And a rollerball, yes, thank you. Wow. 
Hmm, potential Christmas gift, I think? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Well, that was a quick run through of Pen and Pad in Albuquerque. I could have spent a lot more time there looking at a lot more of the stationery and note cards and everything. Um, that was just a brief overview. They're really super nice people. Uh, they have a super good assortment of pens. I didn't mention they have Twisby fountain pens. Some of the pens that you think are only available on, you, on the internet, uh, they have here at Albuquerque. Uh, what a great pen shop to have. A great selection of papers. Those people at Pen and Pad were so nice. Uh, the proprietor lady especially. But she was a little camera shy. Didn't want to appear on camera. So otherwise I would have interviewed her and uh, done a... Uh, maybe give, have her give us a little history of the shop. But they basically have been open since the early 1970s. About the same time that I started going there uh, as a teenager. So I enjoyed tremendously this... Uh, this visit to Pen and Pad, and hopefully it won't be our last. You know, today's visit to Pen and Pad got me thinking, especially after looking at the fine selection of really wonderful stationaries, like the French letter writing stationery and envelopes. It got me thinking that I really haven't taken advantage of this shop in my neighborhood like I should have. I've probably spent too much time buying things online. Yes, perhaps saving a little bit of money, but if you have a resource like this in your hometown, you really owe it to yourself to support them. So if you're in the Albuquerque area, I'd really recommend supporting Pen and Pad or whatever town or city you're in to support your local stationery shop. For myself, I should probably buy a few more uh, fountain pen bottles of ink and some really fine stationery from pen and pad and I should start getting back to some more uh, letter writing. Until next time, this is Joe Van Cleve. I'm an office supply junkie and I'm at pen and pad in Albuquerque. Have yourself a great day.